Hello and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about airbrush. So the airbrush is a tool that we like to use when we're doing the ceramic coating uh, for, for the front grills, you know, when they're honeycomb, that they have openings is phenomenal. Splitters, uh, lower side skirts, diffusers, and the most important use for us is on the wheels and calipers. Very easy to apply, it saves you a lot of time and, uh, and they, the finish is just real, real nice. However, we've been having a lot of issues with these uh, guns, with the airbrush guns. So I think that we're going on number six and seven, and I'm gonna show you these latest ones that we have. So if you're watching this video and you're familiar with this type of tool and, and you know a good brand, please post it below. Uh, we would love to buy a real good one and stop this nonsense but uh, until then we just continue to, to try them so I figure I'll do a review on the latest two that we have so we ordered them in Amazon uh, it was supposed to be who best the brand but a best is what it came in so this is one of them so we purchased two of them one entry level and this one here was supposed to be the professional uh, grade type of uh, gun so this one here, um, the reviews are quite good. And according to, to the people posting reviews, they use it a lot for the RC cars and model cars and that type of thing. So the issue that I think that we're having with the guns is that the ceramic coating after a while, it wears out the plunger. Uh, although that we've been washing them, we've been disassembled them, they don't seem to be lasting uh, at all. So we decide to buy two more. Okay, so so here's a view. Uh, this one is the inexpensive one, which I believe is the TJ130. Um, so really no, nothing to it. And then we have the professional gray one, which I believe is the TJ186K. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It's hard to tell though. Okay, so this one is the one, comes with the hose, which I don't need because the compressor comes with the, the own, their own hose. And the compressor, of course, is the one from Harbor Freight. And so far, this little horse has been phenomenal, no issues at all. Actually, I'm getting ready to buy a steamer from them, and I will post that up, a review on that. So the compressor, I'm real happy. So uh, the hose, I don't need, but okay, I have it, they come with some type of instructions and cleaning and, and not a whole lot of information. And then we have the gun here that's supposed to be the professional grade. And uh, this is an attachment for like a little canister, paint canister for what I found on YouTube. Uh, we're not gonna need that, so we're gonna concentrate just on this. And again, I really like this feature about, about the um, gun that has some type of air filter. The next one that I buy, I, I'm looking for the next one. I would like to have a trigger in, in the bottom instead of that on the top. So that's them there. Again, the inexpensive one and the more expensive one. I think this one was like 45, 50 bucks. So we're gonna test them. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what we got this time right here. Um, one was on the 20, 20 something range, this guy right here. And this is quite familiar of the ones that I have been using before. Now this brand, the first thing that I noticed immediately is that on the backside, it has an adjustment that allows you to adjust how far the trigger is gonna travel, which I think is a real, a real nice thing. And the only other thing that I like is about the upper cup. Um, the previous gun, we had a little, a little tube to a, a plastic canister, and that one worked very well. So this one here it seems to be well built and quite nice. Uh, this other one here comes with a lot of things. It comes with the hose, uh, which we already have, and it has uh, a lot of uh, attachments. And this one here comes with something quite nice, and it's a filter. So I had never had one with a filter, and apparently this thing goes in here, 
and then to the to the hose and to the compressor so um, I'm looking forward to be using this one this one's supposed to be the professional grade it also has the adjustment back here it has two adjustments it has an adjustment to the cup it is the same brand as the other one take this one back here and here you can see the difference so the bigger cup and this one's supposed to be for professional grade so what we're going to do is we are going to set them up and we're going to uh, spray the prep oil through the through the guns so we can evaluate the pattern and the behavior of the of the gun and then you know we will wait for the next job to apply the coating and see how long they last so i just want to give a quick rundown on, on this issue with the guns and uh, just bring you up to speed on, on what's happening with guns for the ceramic coating all right so i'm going to flip this thing around prepare and we're going to spray to see what what we can see all right so i got the professional gun ready here and what do you know that thing with the filter i was so excited about it the bottom piece just came off flying out is somewhere on the floor I, I can find it very small so huge disappointment um, that, that I was not able to use the little filter that I was looking forward to it I ended up putting the blue hose that came with the gun because it was leaking air so I thought that maybe it was the hose so when I got everything connected turned the comp compressor made a little pressure the thing went flying out and it's gone now so now the filter is, is useless so it's a bad beginning there already so I have a little bit of the prep all inside I'm just going to spray um, and play with the adjustment let me turn the compressor on and there you hopefully you can see the miss so the adjustment back here that's all the way in very very light Yeah, so that's that's a nice feature to have that adjustment. Then it has one on the bottom here. That's all the way open. This is all the way closed. Still quite a bit of product there. So okay, the adjustments are nice. A um, little different from what I'm, I'm accustomed to. So I'm going to do the other setup and see if we can compare the spray pattern and let's see. So right back. Okay, so we have the inexpensive one now with the prep all inside, let's see. Let's see the adjustment. So the, the adjustment on both of them seems to be about the same. The pattern seems to be about the same. I noticed that on, it doesn't use as much product as, uh, as before with the other guns. Uh, maybe the hole is a small uh, orifice, smaller or whatnot, or maybe because of the adjustment. The other ones didn't have any adjustment, so it was just, you know, all the product going out. So that's a nice feature. Yeah, so... It's all the way close. Okay, guys, so there you have it. So to close up on uh, the professional grade, they have the two adjustments. They have the filter that doesn't work. And the cup is a little bigger. Uh, spray pattern is almost pretty much the same on both of them. So I would have to say that right now, the professional one seems to be a better one. And uh, we're gonna test them and see how long they last. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys about these type of tools uh, so you can buy and put them on your arsenal. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like us, share, subscribe, um, let us know how we're doing. Check us on Instagram, TurboWax, or our website, TurboWax.com. So thank you for watching. Until next time.